So this looks completely impossible. <laughs> oh, we are almost completely vertical. Today we have something really special. This is a Humvee. I mean, it's iconic. I don't have to explain what this is for you to tell what it is. And we have our guy Jordan back. Jordan, you uh, you brought a ZR1 last time for <laughs> us to do some drag racing, but you're really an off-road guy, right? I am. Yeah. So I do um, off-road racing, Ultra 4, and um, this is just one of my toys and kind of the polar opposite of the Corvette. Yeah. So what, what year is this and what's the exact model? So this is an M1123. Uh, this is not an H1 Hummer. This is the military version, as I said, Humvee. Um, this is a 2004 and gosh, I've owned this now for a couple years, had a ton of fun with it. You know, it's just a wild experience driving one of these. Well, and you've had a bunch of these, right? I have. I, um, as my wife, um, <laughs> to her dismay, I guess, I actually own four of them right now. It's a bit of an addiction, you know, kind of like Jeeps are too. Yeah. Um, I used to be more of a Jeep guy and I still love them, but kind of start dabbling in this a little bit. So. Well, and it's a really cool rig. I mean, walking around a little bit here, you see these monster, what, 37s? These are 40s, actually. 40s. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we've done a little trimming to fit them, got a little bit of body lift on it. Um, you really don't have to do much. You know, I mean, shoot, they come with 37 stock. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So monster 40 inch tires. You've got hard doors on here right now. I mean, they did a bunch of different configurations here. And I see you've got a soft top. Yeah. So this one was actually a two door. Um, the M1123 is kind of a heavy variant, they call it, um, but the, all of them can convert to a four-door. They just put a little filler panel in here. Right. And for me, you know, I've got a, um, a four-year-old daughter and a four-door configuration makes sense. And You use this as a family vehicle? I have. Um, <laughs> I've actually towed out to Oklahoma with it before. Um, you know, they're, they're loud, they're slow, but somehow really fun. Yeah. And uh, they're a lot, of, you know, a lot of enjoyment for me and the family. Well, and what else is impressive is that you actually just drove this up from Colorado Springs, which is what, uh, three hours away? Well, yeah, it probably should be about two and a half, but it was probably three this time. Yeah, it, uh, and it does great. I mean, it's, it's not the fastest trip, but it's neat. And every Usable time you stop- Usable on the highway? You, what's that? Usable on the highway? Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. I mean, holding 75 up here is not bad, <laughs> you know? Well, that's really impressive. So this is just a really cool vehicle that I'm excited to get on the trail. There's a lot of capability cooked into this even straight out of the box that we'll talk about once we get moving, but I'm too excited to just keep walking around it. We got to get this on the Onyx Tumbleweed off-road course. How does uh, shifting everything work in here? So transmission, it's actually a 4L80 GM, very standard, okay, just yeah. parked through overdrive and 321. The transfer case is a little more interesting. It's full-time, you right. have high range, that's an open center diff, and yeah. if you go forward, that locks it and actually lights up here. So it locks the center diff, still high range, or all the way back for low. Interesting. For now, we'll leave it in high. Yeah, we'll, we'll use some of the different settings as we need them, I suppose. Yeah, yep. But, <laughs> you know, pretty standard stuff, really. I mean, just, it gets a little more interesting with the uh, BTM, as they call it, the uh, brake management for the, yeah. the walkers, the really limited slips. Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit once we get on the trail. Yep. So this is kind of interesting. I've got a decal up here for, it says, tie down procedure for rail cars with wooden floors. <laughs> <laughs> How many miles are on this? Well, the odometer says 5,760. Okay, I is, that, is that pretty average? A lot of them they sell have exceptionally low mileage on the odometer. Now, is it real? You don't always know, but a lot of these didn't get driven that much. They sat a lot in the desert and they have you know exceptionally low mileage. What are we working with in terms of powertrain? It's obviously diesel. Oh yes, yes. The the most you know technologically advanced <laughs> high performance. No, it's a um, a six five. It was originally a Detroit diesel yeah. made by GM. Uh, now it's made by GEP but it's still the exact same design, all mechanical. Um, very low horsepower, like, I'm gonna say 170, I think. Um, <laughs> and the torque, it's high, but it's not exceptionally high. I mean, somewhere around like 325 or something. It's been a long time since we've run this course, and we're doing it with a big vehicle, so really not sure what these obstacles are gonna look like. First one's not looking too bad, and, uh, 
We were using the mule, Kawasaki mule, all last summer for these videos. That went away a while ago. We now have a Can-Am Defender 6x6. And uh, it's got a big dump bed on the back, but a couple other things. We have a winch up front. And uh, pretty good tow capability with this machine. So we've got the right recovery rig today. Well, you navigated that well. Oh yeah. So that's one of the nice things about riding here with uh, Jordan is that you run kicking the hammers. I mean, you're you're no stranger to off-roading. So in terms of people that we've had to come here and wheel, you're among the most experienced <laughs> by well, far. Well, I appreciate that. It's fun to be here and see it firsthand. I mean, you know, nothing looks as good on camera as it does in person. <laughs> yeah. and you know, it's, it's nice to see it in person, because it yeah. is, you know, it's, it's definitely more impressive. <laughs> so that doesn't look very fun yet. Should we just so, go up in the high range or try and make it more interesting? Well, if you want to make it difficult, you could go up to the steepest part, stop, and see if you can get moving. It's a fairly soft dirt hill. Well, we'll try a couple things here. So let's do it just high range unlocked first. With momentum, it's very easy, but, uh, be interested to see as heavy as this is. So if we stop here, want? yeah. <laughs> We're at a decent angle, but oh my god. <laughs> so one thing about the Humvee is they're very stable on a side hill. So why don't we show you that real quick? <laughs> this is actually a decent little hill here. And I don't think I've been in another vehicle that anybody would try doing this in. <laughs> We'll just turn up it now. <laughs> Alex is smiling. So yeah. It, you know, my wife, after wheeling in Moab and this, she doesn't even like to take the Jeep anymore. She just feels so much safer, you know, because it's so stable. Yeah, I can but, see why. Yeah. I mean, after that, this is uh, very planted. Yeah. Again, I mean, you would expect it. This is classic Humvee. I mean, everybody knows this, but look at how much space there is between us. Worst state vehicle ever, you know? <laughs> yeah. I like literally could, couldn't touch you if I tried, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> this section right here is called David's Folly. This, more than anything, is mostly a test of maneuverability. Oh, perfect it's a, for a Humvee. A pretty tight turn. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and throw it in low just for, you know, keep it just, slow and whatnot. Yeah, for control. <laughs> so all these are filled oh, oh, there goes the rear they, door. Guess they didn't have that door closed all the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex has got us. <laughs> get, get a, a hard close, hard. Oh, hang on a second. All right, now go. Oh, a chance for this. Yeah, magic yeah. touch. I guess. <laughs> see if it stays on this time. Yeah, those are harder to get closed than a square oh. body. Yeah, see that one came off again, huh? huh. We always like have you said, it may be the, the yeah, the articulation. Yeah. So keep Pop going straight through here? Yeah, so I would go up, and then another thing that we can do uh, is we can go slip and slide, but honestly, that's going to be really easy for this. Well, so we could pump. move on to some of the more difficult sections and just skip that one. So here we can we can pause here and let Alex get around us. Sure. Let me get that door sorted. Yeah. I was looking for if you had a, a new line here of any sort. <laughs> <laughs> this spot right where he's parked, I think I think that's doable right there, but <laughs> Do you actually? Yeah. You wanna try it? I mean I mean we'll have to run over a couple bushes, little bushes there. We're not worried about the bushes. Let's give it a shot. There's no way he wants to do that. He wants to go up the cliff. There's no way. He wants to go up the cliff. He wants to try it. I mean... I'm not going to say no. Yeah, right? <laughs> you would be the first person to even... Well, you are the first person to even look at that and say, oh, I want to try going up that. <laughs> Nobody else has well, even offered. Well, I could be spoiled, you know, when I'm in my race car, but... <laughs> Yeah, this thing's pretty good. So this looks completely impossible. I think we'll at least get the front up, but what happens from there, hard to tell. 
<laughs> Alex is having a hard time climbing up. Yeah. I don't think we'll get the rear up, but we'll see if we can get the front up. <laughs> Not a lot of rock underneath us, it's pretty soft dirt. <laughs> oh, we are almost completely vertical. All right, let me see if I can full commit or not on this thing. <laughs> I think we're a little too bottomed. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed that this is even happy running at this angle. Yeah, no, good oil pressure. Yeah. I think nose down for a long time would be harder than nose up, right. you know, but uh, we'll bring it down. Yep. Just right, ready? Yeah. It obviously takes an impressive amount of traction to do something like that, <laughs> and there's tire marks. Yeah. <laughs> so what what is the differential setup on this? So it has um, torus and limited slips. Right. Which, when you lift a tire, don't do much of anything. So the trick is you apply a little brake, and it kind of locks them up. Okay. Um, so with a little modulation there, you can get it to act much like a locker. It yeah. works quite well for crawling. How Not, hard is that to get used to, the, the dance between the gas and the brake? I mean, maybe a half an hour practice. It's, okay. it's really not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, you get better with it with time, but I wouldn't consider myself perfect, but, you know, I get the job done, so. Yeah. Did you like that? I did. Well, there was no chance of getting over the right, but it's fun to get the front up. You're you know? insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the first time I've been told that. <laughs> Speed I mean, limit 20. Well, let me back up. And <laughs> yeah, I don't think. No, probably not appropriate. Speed, yeah. Speed yeah, not, is not, probably the, not, not the answer. This is not one of those fast running off roaders. Yeah. Yeah. Not even making contact with anything. A lot of pickup trucks strike their hitch. Oh, sure. Or their yeah. bumper back there. Yeah. But I, unsurprisingly. It takes, it takes a lot to scrape the bumper on this. Our angles are pretty good here. Yeah. And just as expected, that was super easy, but we have to go through there to get to the real hard stuff. We've got two really tough obstacles left cottonwood creek and tommy's demise not many vehicles have made it through either of those but if uh any vehicle has a chance it's that one right there it's like all tire up front approach angle is very impressive let's uh see what it can do if you cruise through tommy's demise you'll be one of three vehicles at that point that have made it through tommy's demise all right well, what's made it through so far uh there was a gladiator and nice. a tj all right, yeah. that, that's or it. Or no, an LJ, huh? I think. Um, yeah, Wow. those two Jeeps. So you would be the first non-Jeep well. to run the full course. So this is Cottonwood Creek, and this has gotten worse and worse. Every time we run a vehicle through here, it just destroys this area. It's super deep and mushy. It's, uh, it's not super wet, actually, compared to what it was like a few months ago. But this is definitely going to do some damage, and uh, that hole over here has gotten real deep. So, yeah, let's see what it can do, and then hopefully head over to Tommy's Demise. Yeah, we brought a uh, Mega Cab 3500 Cummins through here. No kidding. And the course has never really been the same since. <laughs> so, honestly, you're running the course in its hardest form, especially through this section. Well, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel like you're sinking in at all. No, I, I think the big tires help. And, and like like I said, it's not as heavy as everybody thinks it is, you know? Yeah. I want to make sure I take it a little bit to the left here where it looks a little bit juicier. <laughs> Taking the harder line. Yeah, you know. So there, use a little bit of that BTM. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here I'm intentionally trying to drive a little bit up. That back door is just not cooperating. Yeah. <laughs> it really wants a passenger that we don't have. That's a 40 inch tire that is 
at least halfway buried in mud right now. So you said you usually have soft doors on this? I do. I've never tried to off-road with hard doors. Look at that. There we go. And you can tell by how controlled you are that you do a lot of off-roading. <laughs> well, thank you. All right. Yeah, we just we wanted some air, so we left that yeah, door open. Yeah, that's for fresh air. Yeah. Nice. yeah. It's, it's a feature. It acts as it's a good mud not, shield, too. Actually. It's not a glitch. <laughs> yeah. It's not a glitch. It's a feature. Yeah. yeah. Tires really give you a good sense of how deep these holes are. Yeah, yeah. That, that one there, man. It was, it was buried like yeah. <laughs> pretty deep. Yeah. yeah, I didn't expect it to sink in that good. That's yeah. great. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's deep. deep. Yeah. Before we started shooting this video, Case and I were just hanging up here at the ranch, and he was pretty confident that this was going to walk all the obstacles. I've done a lot of these videos, and I was not so confident. Uh, especially this obstacle right here because I have seen so many trucks just get eaten up in here and need to get recovered out but uh, that is a whole hell of a lot of front tire here so I think it's gonna do it I'm feeling pretty good we're not even gonna bother with the easy side because uh, while the water might be a little deeper over here the approach angle is not nearly as crazy. Most vehicles dig their front bumper in as they're still going downhill and there's no chance of that front end picking up but obviously we're all tire at the front here so I think yeah I mean we, we could angle it a little but I don't think we'll need to do it. we'll just go head on. Yeah that should be fine. Yeah I think we just take it straight on see what it does. Oh yeah that's yeah, it's soft. Uh, it's soft. <laughs> oh, we may have to bump it here. <laughs> Use all those ponies we got under that hood. Where do we get <laughs> He's screaming. Yeah. Oh, my foot came off the bottle. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was embarrassing. My foot came off. Man. <laughs> well, it's not too embarrassing because you oh, still hey. cruise easily the hardest obstacle. Well, that was fun, man. Well, there's now, slip and sliding rails. That's right over here. Yeah, so that kind of completes a loop. Um, the exit to the course is down here to our left, okay. uh, generally. And, I mean... And, and that's pretty much it. Home free hill. All right. Yeah. So what we usually do is is dip down here and go left of this rock wall. Okay. Let's take a look at that. And yeah, well, we can just scope out if there's any line that you see that you want to take. I mean, you've got free reign. I mean, certainly we could go straight right here if we wanted to. Gosh. Up to you, yeah. I mean, we we don't care about these bushes. Perfect. We we haven't done any fancy landscaping here or anything, so that part is not a concern. All right. Well, this is a, a line that nobody's ever tried taking before. Man, we got a little mud on the tires. We have to sling it off. Yeah. <laughs> It's incredible pulling the nose of this up to a, a rock ledge like that. Because there's almost no other vehicle that you would just drive into a pretty much vertical rock. Yeah, that, that approach that angle is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. It's got more approach angle than traction. <laughs> yeah, especially right now. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't a little bump, but you know. <laughs> it feels like it wants to go. Oh. Come on, baby. I will say the soil out here is softer than you'd expect, you know? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Not quite the line I wanted there. <laughs> There it is. Now, that's the real badass line to get up here. <laughs> Jordan is just setting new records on our course. Not only did he embarrass the regular course, but I mean, this is easily the most impressive off-roading that we've had here at well, Tumbleweed. <laughs> well, I think we're just making the new standard line is what we're really doing here. <laughs> yeah, you've... Uh, we you've, wanted the proper, you know, test spot for you guys here. <laughs> you have genuinely raised the bar. The other thing, too, is that these aren't especially expensive, are they? No, they're not. Um, in fact, this one is for sale. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, you can get these at auction, um, and depending on what you find, you know, they may be anywhere from mid 20s to 35 or 40. Right. Um, if you get one that's rough and non running and whatnot, you can find them below 10. Really? Yeah. So interesting. But you know, there's challenges there of getting them licensed and titled and you know, shipped you and all that. Yeah. Um, this guy here is for sale for 31,000 right now. Nice. Is licensed and titled and obviously drives pretty awesome off road. Hell yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, damn, Jordan, you uh, just embarrassed our course. Well, <laughs> um, well, I don't know if I embarrassed it, but the Humvee <laughs> did quite well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there were a couple of spots where I had to do a little bit of finagling, but that's mostly just because you were picking the hardest line possible. Well, I mean, it, it did awesome. I will say, you know, the course is harder in person than it is on video. Um, yeah. And, you know, the soil here is super soft and that mud is deep. But yeah, these things are amazing. And it was, uh, it was a hell of a lot of fun. Thanks yeah. for bringing me out. Really phenomenal to see these in action. This is, I mean, who doesn't want to end a day of work by doing some off-roading in a Humvee and watching just the incredible things that this can do. What I'm really excited about and what I know you're also excited about, because you obviously we said this one's for sale um, and who knows when it'll sell, but you have other Humvees. This summer, when some trails out in the mountains open up, what would be really fun would be to get one of your Humvees out on a really difficult rock crawling trail and show even more of what they're capable of. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, just let me know when, I'll be there. Absolutely, well, that's all for this video. A hell of a video. Like I said, absolutely set a new standard for running at our course. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Go to alltfl.com for everything that we do automotive and motorcycles. And we'll see you in the next video.